Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to execute some of the NPM commands that are widely used when we work on Node.js project. The first thing is I'm going to initialize a Node.js project and also create a package.json file. So the step is to run npm init or npm init -y. I have created two projects to explain about the two npm commands. So the first project I open, I'll open it with code and also I'll open the other project with Visual Studio Code. So I have two projects opened in code, right? So I'll go to the terminal in each of the project. So terminal is the place in VS Code where we execute commands, right? So I'm going to show you how to execute commands at terminal and also how to initialize a Node.js project, right? So the first project I'm going to run npm init command and the other project I'm going to run npm init hyphen y. Y is equals to yes, right? So I run y. Let's see how these two commands work. You can see the command npm init hyphen y have directly created a package on JSON file along with all the properties filled on its own, right? So if I go to package.json, you will see name is the project folder name, version is 1.0.0, description uh, and the main file and license. All these things are initialized on its own. So when you run this command npm init hyphen y, it is going to in initialize the Node.js project on its own. Whereas when we run npm init, Right, so it asks for the user input for each property. Right, so let me say npm, right, instead of the folder name, I say npm uh, new, right. So it says it cannot have capital letters. I say npm hyphen uh, new basic new basic right and version is 1.0.1 .1. description hit users npm init command entry point I say app.js test command I leave it blank zipper repository I leave it blank keywords I say I leave it blank author is Shakti Vail. License ISC. So when I say yes, right now it creates a package.json file with the properties filled with the inputs I gave. So you can see name is npm new basic version 1.0.1 uses npm init command app.j so all these inputs are given by me right so hope you understood the difference between the two commands right so next I'm going to install a package globally using npm so what does installing a package globally means it means installing a package to a single place that is to the global directory and reusing it from all the node projects in the system in general, all packages should be installed locally. This makes sure you can have dozens of applications in your computer, all running a different version of each package if needed. Updating a global package would make all your projects use a new release. And as you can imagine, this might cause nightmares in terms of maintenance, as some packages might break compatibility with further dependencies, right? So to install packages globally, I'm going to use iPhone G in the place of npm install. So npm install iPhone G. I'm installing the package mongoose, right? 
So when I install the package globally, it downloads and installs the package to the global directory. Right? Note the package is installed, but it did not make an entry to this package.json file because it has installed this package to the global directory wherever Node.js is installed. Right? So I'm going to install an another package without using iPhone G npm install express. Right? So when I run this command, this will install the package express to the current working project folder right so when i click enter you can see the difference now so when this command is executed you see a node modules folder get downloaded and along with that, when I go to package.json, we'll have something called dependencies, a new property that did not exist when we created a package.json file, but it got created when we run this express package with the npm install command. So it means this particular package is installed to this current project folder with all its dependencies right hope you understood it okay next we will install a package with dev dependency so installing a package with dev dependency means the package is used only in the development environment and not in the production so what does it mean every application when we develop it will be in the development environment and even when it goes to the customers, it will move to the production. So there are some packages that are needed in the development environment and the same package is not needed in the production environment. So we can take no demand package as an example. I run npm install no demand, right? Um, I say save dev. So when I run this command, can see no demand gets installed with dev dependency to the same current project folder we know no demand is used to auto refresh a project whenever changes are made to the project right so there is no need of using no demand in the production environment so you can see when i see no demand is installed as a dev dependency, right? This property is newly created as we ran this npm install no demand save dev, right? Perfect. So the next thing is I'm going to show you how to uninstall a package. So I'm going to run npm uninstall express, right? So the the version of Express installed is 14.18.1. I'm going to uninstall it. Right? So let, let us check what happens. Note the Express package got uninstalled and also the property dependency of Express package got removed from the package.json file. Right, so the version we installed was 4.18.1, and now I'm going to install a specific version of Express package and with the help of this command express at 4.16.0. This is the version I'm going to install. Let us check what happens.
as you can see the newly installed version is 4.16.0 and this is how we install a specific version of any package with the help of npm install command right so so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to view the package version with the help of npm command and the command is npm view express version so when i run this it shows the current version of Express and the current version is 4.18.1. Right? I hope this video would have helped you a lot by showing you how to execute the various NPM commands. Right? So we'll meet the next video with another topic. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.